I do have to ask. Can you hear us out in Zoom land? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, thanks, Jim. Is that you, Jim? It is. Okay. Okay, um, so on the agenda, what we had, um, we have two openings, okay? We had two openings, uh, Lisa Potter um, and, well, Lisa Potter Rawls and, um, oh, Don't, I forget. Um, well, did we fill? Oh, you didn't, never mind. Uh, Barbara. 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 Oh, that's right. Barbara, Barbara. 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 And I also sent a, a message back to Barbara's daughter. Okay. Um, and I said that we recognized the moment of silence for her and that we were going to the city council uh, tomorrow. Ryan and you are going to be presenting the tree and bench program. And um, she said she really appreciated the moment of silence or she oh, said her mom so would have yeah. appreciated it. And I told her, you know, the tree and bench program, and she's excited and wants to be kept in the loop. If anything uh, comes of that, which I'm sure it will. Um, uh, you know, Barbara was here working on, you know, the, while we were doing the tree and bench program and working on Ackerman Park. So she thought both of those would be good. Although Barbara lived by Northwoods, and she said there isn't a bench in Northwoods, and maybe she would like something there if we could. So I mean, we'll talk about it. Sounds good. So, anyways, we have three applications for the two openings. Oh, there he is. Been at it the grid for four days. I didn't know where to find you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Dang it. I've been down to the city shops. Oh. I had to scroll through 700 emails. Oh. Oh. Through. <laughs> well, like yep, we're good. All right, so now we're just uh, missing I know. this guy. So we have three uh, applications for the two openings, and we're trying to set interviews with them. It will be Jim Davis, myself, and Ryan. So the three applications are Kathy Ray Smith, Bruce Parker, and James Reichen. Reichen. So I'm trying to get uh, Teresa to set up a date. Ryan, I don't know what your schedule looks like, but uh, I'll, I'll just I'll show up whenever it. I mean, it's kind of based on your guys' schedule, so I'll just show up whenever it is. Okay, well then I'll work with Jim because my schedule is pretty flexible. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll get we'll get we'll work with that. Is Bruce the bike and pet guy? Yep. Is he on that? I was gonna say his name is not really. Is he familiar. on that committee as well? Yep. Like conflict. Dual conflict. Yeah. Little we'll crossover. I don't know where that fits into that conversation, but that's fine. No, that's fine. Oh, I, I, be, I have to back up. Um, we do have a guest, so um, introductions. The only one you didn't meet is Mr. Oliver. Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'm David Tate, and we have met, I think. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and Ryan, you did meet David. I'm, I'm Ryan. I'm the city's planning manager. And uh, you were head your hands full, so very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so now that we've done that, the introductions, the applications, it's getting on to where, we, where we've left off on projects. Ryan's made a copy. Um, 
Chair David, why don't you uh, that's the agenda, and then our tree and bench program is uh, Ryan's made a copy of that too. Um, Auburn Farms, uh, Dodds Park project. Uh, HHPR is, is uh, revising their plans, and uh, we're hoping to get maybe an update next month. Uh, from them? From them. Like a um, new photo, or yeah. new we'll see drawing? Yeah, no. We'll see. That's, okay. that's moving okay. slow. And I'm not sure we're gonna, I mean, if we get another updated drawing, that'll be one thing. But if we could get representatives from HHBR here, like we had the yeah. one meeting, it would be good to, be to talk to them. They were gonna try to do some things that we recommended and go on from there. But it's, uh, I don't think that we're going to see any movement on that part any dirt moved until next year. I don't think. Yeah. And that's talking to Jerry. But Probably spring, right? Like at least by then? Spring. Of 25. Yes. Yeah. And hopefully, maybe next meeting, if, when Jerry's here, he might have better news. Legacy Park, the outdoor exercise court was tentatively scheduled to have the uh, equipment mounted uh, July 22nd. That was the date that we had a tentative date. There's a delay because the contractor that we have to work through, we have to go through their contractor to maintain the warranty. Right. Um, he doesn't have a license to work in the state of Oregon. So he's in the process of trying to get an Oregon license so he can come in and do that work. This has been going on for three, four months. At least. Yeah. That's, we've been getting, oh, yeah. We're not the only one in Oregon to have this thing, right? <laughs> no, there's one up the road in West Lynn. There's one in West Lynn. How did they get it installed? They Stuff. did it without, they did it without the license. Uh, having oh. the state of Oregon license. Oh. Now, Jerry's working on another angle. He's contacted the person that did a, the pickleball cards, oh. Rob Reimer, oh. uh, whatever, and they have a state of Oregon license. And oh, maybe, oh, maybe they'd be. I'm not. I can't speak for the city, but if if there are contractors in the state of Oregon that could install this stuff they wouldn't honor the warranty. And I said, look, man. Yeah, we got to have the warranty. You, right. So we may be. Can they do it as a subcontractor? Work for them as an installer? And it's still warranty? Or they're just not going to warranty it at all? No. Unless they put it in. Right? What is the warranty? It's on the mean? equipment of something. I mean, if somebody. How long? I mean, is it oh. one year? I mean, is it work? I mean, that, that thing looks like it's somewhat. Solid. Yeah, I mean, it's solid. I, I, I don't know exactly what the warranty is. I'm, I believe it's five years, but I, I could be wrong. But we're trying to push with that company. Um, Are they just dragging their feet? Because this is the same thing that happened you said, two or three months ago. We were waiting on that. Yeah, you know, kind of thought, yeah it's we, been. We've been, Jerry and I were on the phone with these, the installer and the the installation manager um, and we were on the phone with them just last week so yeah i thought they were kind of stalling a little bit and this guy evidently and I, I don't know how but the state of oregon has to send they have to tell him they have to schedule a test for him to take and they schedule a date and then he has to go He's in Utah. This guy's in Utah. So the state of Oregon says, schedules a date and then says, okay, you show up to this location this date. They also send the, the books and whatever he's got to study. They send that down there and he says, I've been studying through the books and I've been going through this. And I just got to, I'm waiting on the date right now. I, I just need a date. So it's the state we're kind of waiting on. Right. 
right. It sounds to me like, you know, I don't know how, how long does it take for the state to give them a date? It's like, here. you know, it's kind of. I thought the, the fit whole fitness campaign organization said they had contractors that they work with all over the country, though. You would think somebody would be licensed in the state of Oregon. Perhaps. I didn't. Level, level, Jerry's, Jerry's not real happy right now, and neither is, neither are we, because we thought we'd have it in place. It looked like the cement's done and everything, everything's ready to roll. Everything's ready to roll, all the, equi all the equipment is in, it's at Public Works. The, the, the mural picture for the back of the thing is also in, and it's waiting over there to install. I think and when it comes time, when this guy has his license or whatever he can come, I don't think it'll take a week to get it done. So hopefully we have some movement before the end of August. And what is the installation costing? Ooh, it was the installation cost. What is he being paid? I think it was 30000 He was trying to get more. Oh, Um, Good work if you can get it. Yeah. Maple Street Park. Uh, the contractor's on site. The work has been has started. So they've torn up the infields down there. And we have a... I've talked with um, the scoreboard company. Uh, the donation that we received from the uh, citizen... For the scoreboards, uh, we're sitting with Canby Kids, and they uh, have notified. This is what the, the fields are going to look yeah. like. Um, we've been in contact with the supplier of the scoreboards. Everything's in place. The scoreboards have been ordered. Uh, we're going to have them sent to Public Works, and um, that that is happening. So the scoreboards will look like this. Okay. They're eight feet by four feet. And uh, they're going to be mounted to the, uh, the poles, the light poles. the light poles in the outfield. You talked about that. We so, were playing pickleball at Maple Street a couple days ago and saw them working. Yeah, yep. working away. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been getting some texts and emails from from Terry, she said it was a busy place over the mm -hmm. the weekend. Yeah, so they have an ETA on finishing up. Um, that will be done. Well, the fields, the, field. the fields, maybe the fields, August, September, and August. Yeah. You know, but the light poles a little later. Yeah, yeah I think October will have a completion date for that. Yeah. And Ryan, do you have anything new you want to add? I don't. I haven't, I haven't heard much from what's going on other than they're digging the thing out. Yeah. Um, the tree and bench program, I'll just let Kara, you might. Oh, I think Ryan should. Um, so I, I printed off for you the, um, the staff report that I wrote, which is pretty brief and then the resolution that is going to council tomorrow night so i'll be there kara said that she would also be there i don't i don't anticipate them council having a lot of questions about it but you never know so we'll be there if they do and in the uh, in the agenda if 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 nobody's if anybody any other board members are looking for something to do mm -hmm. Maybe show get up out of to the, the heat. Yeah, yeah, get out of the heat. Show up to the meeting tomorrow, and just you know, a little support for Karen and Ryan. And, uh, but I, I tried to be really clear in the staff report that this was definitely an, an initiative that came from this body. So, um, so they're aware of that. You know, it's you guys to put in the work. So, so they see this tomorrow. They vote on it. It's yeah, the only thing that's, you know, if you see the 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 draft of the program, 
you know, there's placeholders for prices. So public works and our finance department will have to iron out the final prices that are charged at a later date. But I, I don't see any problem approving the, the program with that coming later. Well, I got pricing from three different companies. Two of them are here in Canby and one of them is in Bend or Baker, Baker City. City. Yeah. Um, but he, the guy I talked to, ha his daughter lives here in Canby, and so he's here regularly. And he said if we ordered stuff, he'd put it on a trailer and just bring it to us. Right. So, I mean, but I think somebody has to decide which company we're going to go with because part of the reason for doing this would be to have consistency sure. across all of the parks throughout the city. So we can't go, well, let's, this person wants to get it from this company and this person. So it, we have to, that has to be decided on and so, I, it's above my pay grade. So, you know, we'll get this policy put in place and, and approved or whatever and, and uh, in the system. And then it's, it's up to Jerry and public right. works and those guys to, you know, it's not up to us to, they'll find a, a, a supplier. And and they'll have to land on a, on a solid decision on it because it'll have to be adopted into our master fee schedule. Yeah. Right. And it, and each one of the bids has um, a square table, a rectangular table, a bench with a back, a bench without a back. And then I had the, the plaques are that we just we all decided on and that's set and that's from can be trophy Local. Yeah, right. yeah so so really they they just need to decide which company to go with right um, and i kind of feel like jerry had a sense to go with the gk gk because they use the benches on first Ave. their benches are on first avenue and down here in this courtyard so they've already used them to a point. I don't know if that Jerry's going to iron that out. We're not. Yeah, yeah no, that's who, whatever yeah. he thinks is best. That's above our. Yeah, above our pay grade. Yeah. We stay in our lane. Stay in our lane. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have anything on that? Good job, Karen. Thank you. Nice work. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah. Thank you. It's exciting to see. Yeah, kind of I know. I'm super excited about it. I really am. This will be the second policy that's come out of our parks yeah. board the first one being terry's the naming on the, the park naming uh, policy and we haven't had a chance to use that yet but we should have oh. coming up mm -hmm. or a renaming yeah super but, exciting yeah. um under new business um the budget approval is still the cip that i uh, it's a work in progress for all intents and purposes. It is done for 24, 25. It's under discussion for 25, 26. And I guess the discussion at this point right now, and um, we may need um, a vote. Okay, so I, I don't know if we need to, this is where Lisa always helped me out. Mm -hmm. A resolution or something for a, a vote to move forward with. The question is, do we want to spend the money on uh, in 20, uh, 25, 26 in Weight Park, which is going to take some time, or to put the Pedal Park, uh, the American Ramp Company, uh, project in the Honda pits down by the police station. So, so can I say you something can. about this that before we? Absolutely. So have we ever um, like asked the general public citizens about their, you know, taking their temperature for changing up Weight Park? Well, that is the it, it did come out of the master planning process as one of the highest priorities. Okay. For, and, and what do you, do they, was there any indication about what people were envisioning? I think that would be part of the earliest okay. uh, phase of the whole effort would be going to the community and asking. Okay. What is, what is in store on that to begin with would be a master plan for Wade Park. It would be hiring a, 
engineering firm or somebody to come in like we're doing at uh, Legacy Park or uh, Auburn Farms. Auburn Farms, right. Hiring a company to come in and do some, you know, talk to mm -hmm. citizens, have an open meeting with the citizens, right. get a, what would you like to see? What do you envision? And then they in turn would take all that information and put it yeah. in the paper. This is what, Wait Park is not an easy test. That's no. a, that's going to be a two to three year program. The pedal park in the Honda pits, you can start that next Tomorrow. year. Yeah, yeah, I know. And, and I think a lot of people would enjoy that from the perspective of their own family, their grandkids, their, I mean, I think that would be really appealing to a lot of people. I just feel like I, I worry that Wait Park's going to be pretty controversial. Yes, absolutely. And, and I, uh, right. It makes me a little weak in the knees. Well, with the, with the money that we have in SDCs right now, we have, we have probably enough to do one, but not both. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the decision that I'm, I'm hoping to generate some discussion we, around. On the bike, on the pedal park, I yeah. assume that's a, just a bike park, BMX style, that's it? It's not. What was the gal that came and talked I guess I don't know us. enough, maybe. We're, it we're seems like we heard a little bit about it, but I don't know if I know enough to be like, was he I'm not here? Put the coin right tonight and tell you which way I'm going. Were you here for Maddie Furson's presentation? She was. I don't know. I forget a lot of things. She had a little point. Uh, I didn't bring them over. Oh. It's this. That's a lot of iterations of our possibilities of what we could do. They've done across the U.S. And it was fairly exciting to hear about. I think it's, and they, you know, they target from little bitty guys on those, whatever those things with no pedals, um, bikes. Strider bikes, all the way up to these kids who are just doing wild and crazy things. Rollerblades. Yes. And they tailor it to the location too, any right. historical stuff or geographical. So what, yeah, is, thanks to I guess I don't know what the cost is for these versus what we're looking at. So I don't know, if, I mean like, we're only spending a little bit and it's kind of a cheesy deal then it's not it's, you're looking at two million who what, what is that i don't know i guess i don't know what two million in the bike world gets that one in sandy if you'll see the one in sandy oregon it's the last page it would look like that it's about it's about it's got all that stuff in it. three to four acres and then it's got that's like for the little kids and that's a little bit more of a ramp track down from that way and did she say that sandy was going to just do a portion of it and then decided to go big bigger sandy? Sandy, sandy, yes. this is a two million this whole thing is a two million dollar deal in one year designed it. it's being done right now okay. we're working on that right now she was out here looking at it that's why she did this yeah and there, one of the things that I thought was kind of cool is that they have a couple of different observation areas built in. So I, I'm not going to be out there, but I'd love to watch my grandkids. So to have a place where I can kind of perch and see them going around doing their deal. That's that's kind great of, for that. Yeah. Already got the topography. Right. And that's what she was saying too. Yeah. We own the land. Right. And she's been down there and she's taken a look at the, the property and she said they it could it could be stunning. Yeah, real spectacular. It could be great. It will bring it it's a it would be a regional park and they could bring maybe some kind of event into town, you know, at this if there was such a thing. Did this come up on the master planning process of I mean, is, it, is there a need going back to Wade Park? Is there a need for it? Was there a need for? I guess I don't know. I would assume there is, but we just saying because we have a piece of land that we want to put something on it. Um, it's kind of left field, right? Um, it's it's. I, I love the concept. I just don't know if it's. I just don't want to put it in there and it's like, uh, you know, it's seldomly used. 
that's that's the danger of doing the master planning process and then kind of deviating from what the priorities people spelled out you know i think we i think one or two people did mention it in the process but it wasn't one of those bigger things that came to the top you know so we have a kind of a skate bike park over there now is that still getting used does anybody know it is but from my understanding i don't know i mean that was done in 98 or 99 i think um and so i don't know what they were using as far as design but now everybody kind of says like it's kind of built not correct right or well not, she kind of said that she too she said it's outdated she said it's or very outdated. outdated yeah so they yeah. said i don't know and i don't know the terms and stuff but they said like right. you know, rail or Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Say more, like, I can't really do it because of this. And I'm like, I don't know. Would you, would you, would you? Yeah, I know. She, she said that. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> the, the only thing I have to say, and we're not going to, I don't think we're, we're not going to get a vote today. I mean, this is something that we'll have to discuss further. I guess I'm just kind of looking for if this and it's not on it would have to be added to the CIP for 25 26 it's not there right now it would have to get added but the only thing that I'm the only thing I'm leaning toward this is something that could happen in 25 26 weight park is going to be finalizing weight park will be 27 28 so further if you bump this ahead of them then wait park goes back a year is that kind of the thinking on that yeah so i mean it's a, in my opinion if this thing was going to be used in a you know a somewhat regular fashion uh, i mean wait park's not broken so right. it's not like right. we have to get in there and fix that right uh, this you're going to put something for use right away right. um i just want to make sure that it's not the two million dollar uh, i don't know you know, single single bike rider on it. Right. 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 So, right. Well, I think all those are all really good points. Right. Would you feel more comfortable if we went out and took a look at one? So well, that, but I don't know, and I don't know how to engage with. I mean, it seems like it's kids or schools, or how do you how do you kind of figure out from like are the kids? How do you, how do you like? I think it's a dream situation, though. Uh, if you build it, they will come. And was the the master plan, Ryan, was that, was a bike pedal park offered or was it one of those that had to be like added in? Like, right. because if only one person or two people put it in, does anybody know about it? Like, is there any? I don't think it ever showed up on a, on a list of projects. Or possibilities specifically. Yeah. But it was, me it was mentioned at some, by someone, uh, you know. When, when do you need to have a decision by? Oh, there's no. There's no. I'm just trying to figure out how to somehow get on, and I don't know if it would even re reach. It probably reach the parents and then say you could maybe put something on your page, oh, yeah, Facebook yeah. page. Obviously, here. it's not going to probably hit the participants of this because they're right. probably not. But maybe the parents yeah. of them and figuring out how to engage or ask yeah. a question. And, yeah. Uh, or something. No, like that's that. a that's a really good idea. I could uh, just take a couple of screenshots. Because I, I like the concept, and I think it. Yeah. I think it would be. Used don't know. I guess well, I know. It's 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 another one of those things that it reaches out to. You know, what are the kids? The, the non sports, that, the non use sports kids. It's a gift well, the alternative. Not even that. Is I mean, it's like, what do we have recreationally to right. offer to offer kids exactly. to do? I mean, it's like. Well, families too. And families. Yeah. You know, and it's like. Right. What's the upkeep of this thing? I don't even, I, I guess I don't know what is it. Uh, she did talk about that. I'm not sure if I made any notes. Well, probably not in there. Um, well, I mean, yeah. It was like, it'll be redone every five years. Yeah, plus. something like that. It wasn't, it, and we're not talking dirt tracks because we talked right. about dirt. And if you put mounds and with the weather and everything that yeah. we have, they'll, they'll be washed out. You'll constantly be going in there resurfers i think the other thing that i could do as we if we got closer i could reach out to maddie once again and because she's going to be out various times and, and sandy looking at there i wonder if, if you've missed that meeting before 
There's a video. I want to say that her video is on YouTube. Maybe I could put her video on Friends of Camby Parks and just post it around and say, what kind of, you know, I, I envision the park system as kind of like a quilt with a square for everybody as much as we can, you know, so that everybody has interests that are met. I mean, we, we want to have ADA playground equipment in our playgrounds, but I personally don't need know any children that need it. That doesn't mean they're not there. And, and she yeah. also mentioned in there, I mean, it's accessible, wheelchair accessible, and things like that. So. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's good. You know. Are we in a, well, I guess the only thing that I am, to pursue this in discussion a little bit further as, is everybody in agreement that Wade Park is a, I mean, that's a, that's a long, I don't, well, and you I think it's going to be a potentially a long process because we can make a long process because everybody thinks they have a right and they think they know what's going to be. There's going to be, a, it's going to be very controversial. Yes. It's going to be very expensive and it's going to take some time and it works now, you know? Yeah. It could have worked better. Um, I don't know. I don't I mean, know. That's but, a million dollar question. But like I mean, that's, a comment that you made earlier, if it's not broke. Right. Yeah, I mean, right now, but I, right now. I can definitely see some different, I mean, I think there's, I mean, I think it's, I think it could be better. Yeah. I mean, I still think it's a great park, don't get me wrong, but I think when you have a square, a square block, I think you can do some more really things. Yeah. I think Jim has a comment. Jim, you got a comment? Uh, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I would say if I would recommend that if you're going to pursue this in any way uh, that uh, you present this at a work session to the city council before you advertise it at all, because the first question that we have to answer is uh, how does that fit into the master plan? Because I know that that's what the council is going to ask. And I think if you put the cart in front of the horse on this, that you're uh, going to turn off the rest of the city council rather than to get them on board with it. I agree with the concept. I like it. But we still have to answer that question. Uh, how does this fit in? And that's where Ryan or somebody can come in and talk about, well, when you have a master plan and something new comes along, uh, how do you address that in master plan? Because you know, I think, but I, I think that a work session with this Maddie, uh, with the city council, a very short work session would be a good idea to show them the content. But I would do that before I would advertise it and, uh, and kick it out there first. I would have that work session with the city council. You know, it's like you were like you were just saying, you know, when something new comes along, you just don't kick it to the curb because it wasn't right. spelled out in a master plan that was done three, four years ago. You know, now, you know, it's like maybe we take the master plan and look at what the criteria mm -hmm. was or the bullets and we might be able to find a, an area to to pitch and hold it in. Yeah, I think through any process, when you when you start looking at your projects for the uh, budget, as far as projects down the line, it's just like the dog park. We've shifted gears with the dog park and we have a plan for that, but it's we shifted and it's a lot less, not as expensive as the last one. Okay, but, and this would, be similar in the fact that this is a new concept that the Park and Rec Committee is uh, proposing, but how does that fit in? And does anything get lowered on the priority list? Because you got to remember that the old city council basically adopted those projects in the comprehensive plan. And so you need to get them on board with dropping something off or moving the dates on it 
if that's uh, what the committee chooses to do. Right. Right. So I think, I mean, we're in agreement there. Um, and we'll just have to continue the discussion. And I'll talk with Maddie. And I'll talk with Jim and figure out when we might want to do a presentation to the council. And, uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and talk to Eileen about this too and see if we can get it scheduled. And then uh, we can try to schedule it around when she's available. But there's quite a few work sessions that are lined up already. Uh, but I think it would be worthwhile for them to see the concept because I think it's a great idea. It's just what, what gets shifted down. Well, the thing that we're talking about shifting down is Wake Park. Yeah. Well, how come Wake Park? I mean, have you looked at all the other projects too? Well, yeah, based on the, based on the CIP, the, the money that we were going to spend in 25, 26, the majority of that was going into Wake Park. For the master plan study? For the master plan study and the, the, the work following, I mean, another $3 million coming in years after that. You know, 25, 26 on the, the master plan study, but 26, 27, 27, 28, you know, as far as uh, construction on it. So, yeah. Well, I would just say uh, it's a great idea, but let's take it to them in a work, a work session and get their input. Does, does anybody have, on the master plan, I remember a summary sheet of um, all the parks we have yeah. and where the holes in our park system are. Um, I don't have it. I was looking for it. Um, and I'm just wondering if this is a type of park that would fit into one of those holes. Right. Yes. And, and if it is, then, then that would make sense. Yes. Yeah. And I suspect, good, I suspect it is. Yeah. Yeah. Kara, good, very good point. Because Dodd Farms, that project definitely is, that was identified as a need. And so the next one was over by, uh, over towards the police station area. So, so maybe before your guys' next meeting, I can come through the master plan and kind of tease out where staff thinks this might fit in the context of that. And then I'll also look at the CIP document that we had council approved following the master plan, which had a list of projects. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I can report back right. next time. Yeah. Sounds okay. good. Sounds great. Ryan, do you have anything for us? City staff update? I, I don't. Okay. Andrew Hale is not here, so we're not going to get a cabard report. Jim, do you have anything from the council? Well, first of all, uh, we look forward to tomorrow night seeing Karen Ryan there presenting the bench uh, memorial program. Uh, great job on that. The, um, we are still in conversation to a certain degree on uh, still looking for the property for the sports athletic complex. Uh, there are some options there. We have dropped off the Canby utility site uh, is no longer under consideration. Um, but uh, we are, uh, Patrick is still looking at conversation uh, with that uh, other property that he was dealing, dealing with. And then I've asked Eileen to involve uh, city staff, which Don Hardy has already started in conversation also with the, the city attorney firm that we use to revisit um, the wayward property as to whether or not uh, we just is has anything changed with that and was the information that the old city council um, what they were told is that still true 
in regards to the possible use of that property for the athletic fields. So we've started that discussion as well, but I'm very, very impressed with Patrick and <clears throat> Patrick's uh, willingness to uh, design so many different concepts uh, for trying to make that happen in Canby. Uh, so uh, a lot of work on that as well. So that, those, are the main, those, those, those are the main things that I buried that I well, the, yeah, and the other one that I had mentioned to, um, I mean, we've been in discussion, we've talked about it before, is um, revisiting the 2018 Ackerman project. Correct. And I know that Eileen is going to get time to new the superintendent to uh, start those conversations again since we lost Dr. Downs. Uh, we want to initiate those conversations again on the Ackerman uh, complex. And for those that don't know, the adult center uh, has purchased the property at Holly and Territorial at the church. And so the adult center is actually going to be moving within the next couple of years up to Holly and Territorial. And they've already started that process through the city as well uh, for permits. And so that's going to open up. Uh, the adult center. One thing that um, your committee should start considering or looking at, uh, what can we use that adult center for, if anything? Uh, is there an option there of making that a teen center? Uh, because it is uh, currently, uh, the building is the city's building. So that's something for you to maybe put on future agenda to start talking about uh, because uh, it could go quicker in regards to the adult center movie. But right now, Kathy uh, is looking at uh, possibly no more than two years to be out of the current adult center. So something else to kick around uh, as a committee. The one thing I wanted to um, mention, Jim, while we're in here is that you know, the Ackerman project back in 2018, we started talking about, well, we started talking about it then. And when, when Scott Enyart, who at the time was the president of the Oregon Soccer Association, when he got wind of that, that's when OISA came to Canby and approached us about putting soccer fields down there. It was it was because of the Ackerman project. It was because of that. And so they were interested at that time. And that's when they got involved more and started looking for additional property. But it was on the Ackerman pro uh, project that it kind of piqued his interest to maybe look into it a little further about coming to Canby. So. Yeah. So we do have to uh, continue to show that we're, as a city, that we're very interested in trying to make those athletic fields happen. Uh, because I do know uh, that Patrick is has been talking with the city of Wood, Woodburn, for sure. Not necessarily the city of Woodburn, but the Woodburn School District uh, has offered us some property. I would sure hate to lose that complex and or they might do both. Something in Woodburn and something in Canby. Okay. Do you have anything else to offer us, Jim? Nope. Nope. Anybody have anything for if not? Okay, can I get a motion to adjourn? I so move. What about our, our guest? Did you ask if he had anything he wanted to bring? Oh, I could. I do, but you could. David, do you, do, you, do you have anything? I brought a gift, but I'll give it to you after the. Oh, well, okay. There you go. <laughs> gift. <laughs> Sorry. Can't accept it. Um, okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? Kara? Second. Second. Jim? All right. Uh, all in favor of adjourn? Uh, Say aye. Aye. aye.
next meeting will be August 20th at 6.30, and we are moving back to public works. The only reason why it's here is Jerry was gone, and Jeff was no longer with us. So Ryan needed, needed to run the equipment, and he's familiar with it here. So we'll see everybody on the 20th. Okay. Hey guys. Oh, we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Tomorrow. That's right. If you can make the council meeting. Now the council meeting starts at seven. Seven? Yes. What time's Kara on? <laughs> I am not Ryan's presenting it. I'm just gonna be in the audience. Rudy you know, agenda wise, I believe it towards the end of the agenda too. So just kind of beware. Oh no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Jim, you're not funny. <laughs> you're funny. They were wrong. You're not funny. <laughs> we'll see you guys. All right. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, that's not funny. No. So, Ryan, do we know? Um, oh, sorry. Let me. We're done, right? Yes. If I can figure out how to stop recording.